Happy Monday, guys. My advice triggered a bunch of nice guys. Um, we had a guy in, in a men's group, not our community's mentoring men, um, ask about meeting the daughter of somebody he's been dating for just over a month. <laughs> and at the end of his his interaction. I don't want to rush into things. He's already rushing into things. He was talking about being a stepdaddy to the 11 year old. He said she's hinting the girl he's dating, the woman he's dating to about him meeting her. I, I'm like, there is nothing more rushed than what's going on right here. And it's based on a scarcity mindset. And, you know, how, how soon should you meet the kids. And so I gave him my standard advice. Date non-exclusively for six months. Exclusively for six months. Then you can meet the kids if it feels right. Uh, I didn't go into date two to three years before living together, live together a year before you get married. And the nice guys in this community lost their mind at the non-exclusive dating for six months. One or two said, I moved in and proposed within two months. There was all sorts of stuff. You know, are there exceptions to the rule? Yes. But what they didn't understand was the why behind it. And, and let's look at why do I recommend you date non-exclusively two to three people for six months. For this very reason. Oh my God, she's amazing. We're talking about life together. After just a little more than a month, we see this a lot. A man's been in a long-term relationship. The sex is non-existent or has been obligatory for who knows how long. Goes through a tough divorce. Might not be ready to date. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. And he meets somebody who, oh my God, she's so amazing. That's the phrase that, you know. Okay, she's not your ex. She wants to have sex. So right there, you ignore red flags. You don't take time to learn each other okay so it's also not about sleeping with the whole world i am very specific about dating only two or three at most three because otherwise you're chasing you're chasing sex you're chasing that endorphin hit okay so the reason i want you to date more than one non-exclusively is so you have a comparison point and I've had a lot of men I've worked with who figured out, oh my gosh, this is wonderful. I had one man, he talked about, you know what's easy when you're dating three women? I said, what? He goes, get rid of one who's becoming a problem. And again, you're being upfront and honest. Just got out of a divorce. I'm just starting dating again. And I'm not willing to be exclusive for six months. Now, that also doesn't mean you're trying to sleep with every woman out there. But you're being respectful to yourself. You're being respectful to her. And it is one of those things that nice guys lose their mind over. Um, and quite honestly, more power to you. If you want to latch on to your next problem and one in a hundred has a great outcome, awesome. But what we see when you rush into the next relationship, things don't end well. OK, and I have a long track record of guys I've worked with who will date two or three women. One of them could be a friends with benefits even, but there's no hurry. There's no rush. You can get to know her. You're not. Oh, I got to we got to do something this weekend, every weekend. No, no, relax, slow your roll, get to know each other. All right. You can agree or disagree, but if you're losing your mind and there was a about a third of the guys in this community were like, yeah, you're, you're rolling too fast. Don't, you know, and, and, and agreed with me, but they were the vocal minority. It was the nice guys losing their mind, how it was so wrong to date multiple women. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, then, of course, they wanted to disparage. Well, that means she's sleeping with a bunch of other guys. Not necessarily. There's a lot of it depends. So if you want to have some further conversation, there's a link down below. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe or like button. 
and let's go ahead and have a conversation if you're struggling, all right? We'll talk to you later, guys. Have a great week.